Hello, this is Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies, and welcome to our video series called Peppers 101. This is our educational series here on our YouTube channel that we just started in 2023, the summer of 2023. And we are hoping to have over 120 videos up by the end of the year. We're only releasing one every other day so as not to clutter up YouTube. And I know you guys have better things to do than to watch a video every day. So we're doing it every other day. It is our hope and our vision that these videos will give you a reference to go by in determining what kind of chilies you may want to grow. Uh, we hope it inspires and encourages you to grow more chilies, try different kinds of chilies, cook with different chilies. And when you do that, share different chilies because a lot of people don't know the peppers beyond the grocery store. They do not know the flavors. Uh, they do not know the flavors that await them. Really, they don't. I can't tell you how many times I've had people try some of my different peppers that are not available commercially. And the people go, wow. That's their expression, wow. So with that being said, let's get into our public service announcement before we start the video. Get your children into the garden. Get them out in the fresh air. Get them in the fresh air. Get them doing something with you. With you. Not just you sitting on the couch watching the same movie. Not just you being in the stands when they play their baseball game and you cheering and clapping. But something to do with you. Let them help you plant the seeds. Take care of the plants. Harvest the fruits and vegetables. And then take them into the kitchen and let them partake in learning how to cook. Look, folks, you can do this as early as three years old. You just have to use your judgment. I mean, don't have a small child that's three years old handle super hots or sharp knives or be close to a hot stove or oven or grill. Use your best judgment, okay? Keep an eye on them, safety first. But, you know, if you start teaching them gardening and cooking at a young age, and that doesn't mean you can't start now with your teenagers. You can. In fact, some of your teenagers are probably hungering and crying out for attention. And they seek it other places. The wrong places. Where if mom and dad or grandpa and grandpa or uncle and aunt spend time with them doing something, investing in them, building their character, self-confidence, and their knowledge of growing food and cooking food... You know, it's just, it's just a better alternative to them going with the crowd and maybe doing something stupid they regret later on. So get them out in the garden. Get them out in the garden and spread this message far and wide. Preach this. Getting your children in the garden in the kitchen. Okay? With that being said, let's look at this chili here. This is the Ancho Durango. Now in the grocery store... You have the Ancho Poblanos. They're dark green in color and they look just like these, but they're bigger. Most likely they're the Ancho Gigantia because they're a lot bigger. This is the Ancho Durango. And here is a fully ripe one. Now, what's the story behind this? A friend of mine or a chili friend of mine who I do not know. That sounds funny. He's my friend, but I don't know. About two years ago, it's 2023 right now, September 2023, sent me a really lovely letter thanking me for uh, trying to preserve native varieties from Mexico and other countries. He wrote me a nice letter. He did not put his name at the end of the letter, and he enclosed these seeds from his native state. Mexico has states, just like the United States has states, called Durango. Now, a lot of you might not know much about Durango, but tons of Westerns, some of the John Wayne Westerns and other Westerns have been filmed there years and years ago, and they still film there today. And I think also the biblical film Ben-Hur was filmed there. Durango is famous for a lot of Western films and other films, epic films. It has, it has high desert terrain, but it also has huge mountains. The Sierra Occidental Mountains run through it which are an extension of the Sierra Mountains that coming down from uh, Canada and through California all the way down into Mexico. 
So it's very rough terrain there. They have beautiful forests and rivers and lakes. It's not jungle. It's not far enough south to be a jungle in Mexico, but further south than the states of Chihuahua and Sonora, which border the United States. So that's a little bit about Durango. So I don't have any other chilies from Durango. This is it. And he said this, these seeds, he wanted to share these seeds with me. He didn't know the name. He knew its uses and he knew a few other things. He didn't really know. But after growing it last year in 2022, I figured out it was a no brainer. It's an ancho type. Now there's a little difference, another difference. But besides these being smaller than the ancho poblanos you find in the grocery store, which are commercially bred, by the way, that's why they're bigger and fleshier. Um, the ancho Durango has respectable heat, close to a jalapeno heat when it ripens red. It does have a little bit more fruitiness than the ancho gigantia or ancho poblano you see in the grocery store. <clears throat> so these are great for stuffing, making chili rellenos, roasting, uh, anything you want to use a stuffing pepper for, but beware, they're going to have a little kick of heat. So they ripen from green to a brownish color, brownish red, and finally bright red. Here's some smaller green ones on the plants. The plants do get tall very fast. That was my problem last year. They got tall too fast and the plants got congested underneath the nets. And um, that means the flowers got congested and I didn't get peppers till late. So I covered these with a blanket every night. It was frosty and put uh, drop lights, you know, 100 watt drop light bulbs or 75 watt bulbs underneath the blanket to keep the, the air warm so I could get seeds off them. Because then the only seeds I would have had were the ones he originally sent me, which were getting to be over three years old. So I, I was ended up getting enough seeds to sell. They're on my website right now. And uh, and now it looks like I'm gonna have a good harvest this year on time, because right now we're, we're barely, we're just hitting mid-September. So I've got plenty of time for all these to turn red and be ready for seed saving. Nice thick wall pepper. They will get five to six feet tall, as you can see here at the top of the nets. And um, they are very productive, but I suggest you start them early and you're gonna wanna stake them or cage them because when you get heavy chilies on a plant that grows tall, the chilies can bend the branches down and break them. And then you're just left with unripe chilies that are green. But being the ancho poblano is a tasty pepper when green when you roast it, it won't be the end of the world, okay? But if you want the heat and the full flavor of it, the more sweetness of it, you're gonna want to wait until it ripens completely. So you're gonna wanna tie it to steaks or put it in a tomato cage or put it somewhere where you can support it, okay? So this is the Ancho Durango. I gave it the name Durango because there was no other known name for it. So I named it after its location, Durango, Ancho Durango. And if, if whoever you are who sent me these seeds, if you watch this video, if you see me on Facebook, please, please contact me so I can put your name with this chili on my website because I got the seeds from you and you need, I need to credit you from getting them from you, whoever you are. I threw away the envelope that had his address on it. Maybe his name was on there. It was two, over two years ago in 2021, and now um, I just have the letter. I still have the letter saved, so I'm not lying. If somebody said, ah, you're full of baloney, you're just making this up. Nope, I've got the letter. I could show somebody the letter if they wanted to see the letter. So get, this is Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies, and this is the Ancho Durango, and we ask you to please get your children in the garden, get them in the kitchen, and you know what? Hey, take it one step further. When they, after you guys cook the meal, if you have enough left over, go feed a needy neighbor, somebody who's disabled or elderly or just has fallen on hard times or could use some love. Feed them some food and let your child be partake in that. 
just imagine the amazement on your child in your child's face that they took something from seed to harvest to kitchen to table to serving someone in need just imagine the impact you'll have on your child i know this is going to be old for some of you i say this in almost every video and you're going to go god is he saying this again sorry i'm going to keep saying it because i believe in it so this is Dancho durango and this is jim duffy refining fire chilies take care Thank <laughs> you.